Hi, I'm Jared Chester, part of the Bex PFR team at our London, Ohio site, and today we're bringing you an update on a brand new study. It's cover crop termination. So we're trying to help answer that question, when should you terminate your cover crop in the spring? For this study, we drilled 35 pounds of cereal rye last fall, and then we've got three different termination dates. Basically, we've got as early as possible, so that's these six rows to my right. Uh, we've got mid-season so for us the early was beginning of April then we waited about three weeks we've got the end of April you can see that cover crop or that rye was roughly around two feet tall um, we still got some residue remaining it was about two feet tall when we terminate it and then over my shoulder there you can see our third entry was we actually let that rye uh, go to seed head out and it was actually four to six feet tall we planted green and then sprayed it to terminate it about two days after planting so some pretty big differences some pretty different options that farmers have in the spring we're definitely seeing some early season differences it kind of started at planting uh, one observation was by far the wettest entry in terms of uh, moisture in the seed trench was definitely the planting green option. Um, another observation we made was we ran row cleaners across all three entries and it definitely took more down force with those row cleaners uh, it, when we were planting green. Um, another observation that we've made early season here is that when you actually just look at the plants themselves, so this plant was out of where we terminated early April um, this plant is actually where we planted green. So you can see some pretty big differences in terms of stalk diameter, plant size, also where it's at in terms of growth stages. Uh, this plant's at V4, where this one's lagging behind uh, closer to V2, pushing V3. So definitely some early season just plant vigor differences. Also, you can see that this plant uh, is quite a bit darker green. I think we're starting to see a little bit of that carbon penalty t to take effect. Um, on this plot, we ran 20 gallons of 28, so front loading quite a bit of nitrogen pretty close to the row to try and minimize that carbon penalty. But I think it, before we get this uh, plot side dress, we're gonna see that carbon penalty show up even more. Another observation we just found was where that standing rye uh, entries are, we're actually seeing quite a few plants actually get clipped off. So these plants were at V2, uh, and then we've got some voles out there. So another uh, hurdle to face when we start implementing cover crops into our rotation. So a lot of early season differences that we're seeing in this plot. Uh, it'll be interesting to, to figure out you know, what works not only balancing, trying to get a good early healthy stand, but also in terms of if we turn hot and dry, is having a lot of this extra residue around going to actually benefit us and pay off in the long run. So we'll continue to track this study throughout the season. If you got any questions, reach out to your local Bex representative. Thanks and have a great day.